check out this toolbox. I'm going to transform it into an airbrush working station. Secure your holster base to the top. And then along the handles, I glued some Velcro. I don't always want to carry a table. I secure it with Velcro to the back of my toolbox. Drill some holes in the back for the airflow for your compressor. Now this is where I stick my table to my toolbox. Now on the top of the toolbox is where you store all your airbrush supplies. Stencils, airbrushes, wipes, all that cool stuff. Now you can place your holster in the base, secure, and tighten. You too can buy your own holster at showoffsbodyart.com. Now you have your table, your holster. All you need now is your stencils, load your guns, and you're all set to go. Nice and compact. I remove my hoses from the hole and the fan is turned on as soon as I plug it in to keep my compressor cool. I store all the hardware at the bottom section of the toolbox. You don't need to remove the rest, I just want to show you what I have. Now my power strip, I plug in and it turns on both the fan and the compressor. The vent does protect the hoses from twisting around the compressor and I can adjust my pressure here. Remember to keep your compressor cool. Allow that airflow from a fan to holes in the back. The vent still allows the airflow to the compressor. Hidden beneath the vent is the compressor, computer fan, and the power strip. Compact. Set up in 10 minutes. Check out this top. I have a skirt around it. It hides everything down below. Sometimes I'll change the skirting to match a theme for an event. You save the best for last, packing your car. Check this out, it's all going to fit. I don't need a big van to haul my airbrush station. Now it's time for me to go and show off.